Have a nice day, everyone. The last video we discussed about the airwardness directive and the service bulletin to create or to issue the engineering order. Now, when we go to the service bulletin, sometimes you will see for aircrafts group number one or group number two, so and so. So, what about the groups? How can I identify the aircraft? Okay. I would speak about Boeing and Airbus because it is the common aircraft in the world. For Boeing, sometimes we confused about the aircraft line number and the aircraft variable number or block number. Block number equal variable number, but the line number, it is other thing. Look here. Here is the line number, but here this is the type 707, so on, so until 787. These aircrafts in the line number one, okay, and these in the line number two. So the line number not identify the aircraft itself, but the production line, okay. Now it is clear the line number is differed for from the variable number of the aircraft. Okay. We go here. Look here. This is this for airline for the list of aircraft and the airline. So you cannot use this manual for other airlines. Look here, the customer serial number, maybe one, two, three. Here's the operator, okay, identification code, effectivity code. Here's the effectivity code. You must follow that in the page of the maintenance manual when you go to uh, descriptions, troubleshooting, uh, job cards, so and so. Here is the block number which I told you about. Block number equal the variable number. Here the variable number of the aircraft. So the block number this is these two tables for Boeing, okay? This is for Boeing. For Airbus, there is no line number or variable number, just the manufacturer serial number. Where is it? Manufacturer serial number. Mm. Here is, here manufacturer serial number. So in the service bulletin, you follow for Airbus, manufacturer serial number, and for Boeing, the variable number or block number. But I think you will find variable number in the service bulletin, okay? Go to your manuals and check your fleet before you go to the engineering order. Okay, now I will go to the engineering order. Here, the suggestion to explain on it, but you must go to the forms of your airline. Your airline has 
a form for the engineering order. Here just for, I can show you how can get from the awareness directives and the service bulletin in here, okay? So here, the engineering order number, okay? Here is the date of issue. If there is a revision number, okay? A revision date, okay? Aircraft type, aircraft registration, and the other system at the chapter okay i think you knew that the other chapter i will give you some examples 12 this is servicing 21 air conditioning 22 autopilot 23 communication 24 electric power so and so okay i am not in the exam here this is the subject, the subject from the AD and the service bulletin. Sometimes the Air AD or Air Worsness Directive has no service bulletin, so an inspection only. So you will hear the subject from the AD. Okay. Here, the reference. The reference you will put here the AD number and the service bulletin number. Okay, I will zoom here. The kit proofing you need proofing for the kit or no, yes or no. Feedback sometimes the manufacturer required from you to feedback him with the result for the inspections, okay? The, after that, RII, this is required inspection, required inspection, means you must sure with another one authorized for this work, it is okay. Is this AD or this engineering order needs or the work of it need RII? If yes, okay. If no, okay. Here, the classifications of the engineering order. Mandatory, alert, routine. This is according the or were according to the service bulletin. If the service bulletin, which I will show you after that, is alert. So you put here alert. If the service bulletin mandatory, you put the right sign on the square mandatory. So and so. Okay. This is the this this chapter here it need approval you need approval for this work from the civil aviation local civil aviation okay I scratch here to put your locals local civil aviation okay here required not required if approved you put here the approval number here the evaluation number each service bulletin must make about it evaluation evaluation task to put it it is okay not required for option or we can make it here, the inspection, initial inspection, if one time, okay, if repeated, you put the interval. So the initial, you put here the effective date or when you must make this engineering order. 
repeat the put the interval if calendar or flight hours or flight cycles here is the modification or repair modification okay you put the modification number repair you put repair okay after that the effectivity which aircraft in your fleet is effective in this engineering order okay you put here the registration of the aircraft not the variable number or the um, manufacturer serial number you just put the registration number on your here the field of application here is this engineering order for the aircraft or engine or APU or component you put here the right sign in the square which you, this engineering order applied for it reason and description you put here why you make this service bulletin this engineering order sorry put here the subject and what will you do okay and the last uh, in this page this is prepared by name sign and date revised by also manager of development director of engineering okay this is the sign this is the first page and the second time i will speak again for the second page so this time i think that is clear to you and we, I will go to the other section in the next video. Thank you very much. And goodbye.